Hey, Slowheads. Welcome to Dick's Car Garage. So today, I want to uh, upgrade and improve my slot car closet where I sit and make my videos and all that kind of thing. So I um, went and got a couple six-foot pieces of already done board from Lowe's. I don't know, 20 bucks a piece or something like that. Just to kind of make it easy. I'm cutting everything to length. I'm going to sand it down a little bit, put some, uh, some stain on it to make it look good. And then uh, I'll... Uh, Kind of go through the process of what it looked like before, what it looks like right this second, and then um, uh, we'll go through and I'll put everything together and whatnot. So let's just uh, get down to cutting this crap up or shit. I like to say shit. <laughs> you can go ahead and go. Are you doing it? <laughs> got off kilter somewhere. So I've never used this router before. I bought it at a pawn shop, bought some nice uh, bits and stuff for it. So I'm gonna give it a try, try to do a round over here. See, kind of kind of see how it goes. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but make sure I turn it the right way. Actually, the other thing is, is I'm going the wrong way. Gotta go this way. Too bad, I just need to fix this over here. Just for my first time, it ain't that bad. Just trying to keep these locked down here. But... Can't fucking see a damn thing. go and then uh my wife's behind the camera here so she's gonna come over here and show you what this roundover looks like aren't you honey yeah looks pretty good are you recording you are <laughs> anyway, 
So uh, I'm gonna sand this down. I got some 80 grit on here. I kind of get it really, get it smooth. It's supposed to be ready, but it ain't ready to me. So I'm gonna smooth it out, do some 80. I think I got some 120 and maybe some 320. I don't know. And then I'm gonna uh, start staining and see what we can make this thing look like. Oh, I guess these are the bloopers that I'm gonna leave in because you know. <laughs> it was on. So I think the, uh, the 80 grit's gonna be enough. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. It looks pretty good to me with the dark stain and stuff. You won't want to see nothing, but it's smooth, no splinters. Should be good enough. Now I'm gonna wipe this thing down with some alcohol. Try to get some of the dust off of it before I start staining. Oh. Grab some more. I need a better workflow in here. I don't have any woodworking benches or anything. I use these piece of crap saw horses and they kind of get me by for now. But uh, I'm not a 
not a woodworker, even though I kind of do quite a bit of little woodworking projects, I guess, for the house. But I don't really do anything for anybody else. Okay. It's good enough. So um, I got my, my gloves, my nitrile gloves. I got these at uh, Harbor Freight, big old box of them. You know, I don't want to get the stain on my on my hand. Safety. I know I don't really have a mask on or safety glasses. These are my safety glasses. If you see how scratched these things are, they're my safety glasses. But uh, go ahead and start staining. The first stain I'm going to use is this uh, premium oil Minwax wood finish. It's called Gunstock 231. So it's an oil based. And uh, the next stain that I put on is a, a charcoal, but it's water based. And so kind of the effect that it gives between the oil and the water based, I like it. You know, you're not really supposed to mix them, but it actually turns out and works really good. So uh, I'm going to get some of this laid out on here. Got some old kids clothes here. Kind of ran out of the sponge brushes. You can see how orange this is, and I definitely don't want orange stain. But... And it doesn't really have to be perfect either because it's literally going to have black over top of it. So if there's darker areas of this red-ish orange, that's fine. If there's lighter colors, that's fine. It don't really matter. It can be sloppy, sloppy as you want. See, it's dripping everywhere. And that's kind of okay. Not a big deal. But I do like to, if I'm going to have dark areas, I want them to be maybe a little dark here and a little dark there and it kind of match. I don't want to go super dark and then super light. I want to be, I think it's kind of even. screwdriver so the next thing i'm using is this uh mid wax wood effects charred look in minutes it says this, this is kind of dirty i've been using it for most of my projects in the house made some ladders some uh, blanket ladder deals for I charred it with actual um the torch first and then i used this and it turned out pretty good but uh, made a headboard for my son's bed with some LED lights behind it. But then I'm gonna take this stuff, my handle fell off, and I'm just gonna lay it on here, get it in there. It doesn't matter what it does, how it looks. It's sitting on top of oil, so you can see that it kind of runs away from it a little bit in certain spots that's okay not worried about it doesn't matter if it doesn't cover a spot if it's lighter just let it run on there let it soak up like i said this is water based and then the first part i put on was oil based so It acts a little different. Make sure I get down on that crack there. And honestly, this part that what we're doing here, I was just going to, I was actually going to burn it and then uh, put this char on it like I do with most stuff, but we were redoing a dresser over there. You can show them, honey. We're doing a dresser and we did this where we put that red stain on there and we're like, holy cow, that's red or orange. It's too much. So then I was like, well, let's throw that black charcoal 
stain on there. You can turn it back this way. On there, and uh, they're like, man, that looks really good. So I was like, I want that on my slot car desk table deal that I'm building from a closet. And uh, it looks pretty good. I'm just literally washing it, wiping it, getting it all in there. And then I've got a uh, polyurethane coating that I'll probably put on here to just to help help protect it, you know, messing with slot cars and tools being on it and whatnot. It'll definitely uh, need a little bit of protection. And depending on how dark you want to go and how you want it to look, you can do another coat or just leave it however you want let me get this lid put back down so the garage definitely won't look like this once i get uh everything set up slot car track going over there and uh we moved in a year ago and we still have stuff that we haven't gone through and it's just a mess so um I got to build some tables and stuff for my woodworking and slot car tracks going to go behind where y'all are looking. Honey, if you want to point it over there, you can see that's where it'll be over there. And then, uh, like I said, I got to build some tables and figure out my tool room over there, how I want to do this stuff. But anyways, so as you can see, as this dries, um, the grain starting to come through and then you can kind of see the red the red coming through. Let me take this here. So I can kind of get some of that, soak some of that up with this rag here. And then all that stuff will start, as it dries, it's gonna pop through. And I'm not gonna put another coat because I do want some of that red to come up through the, the black. I, I might actually take some sandpaper and just drag it in certain areas to bring some of that light back because it is really dark in some spots, which is okay, but I want that effect to it. So I'll kind of come through here with some sandpaper once it starts drying. But anyway, So here's kind of behind the scenes of what it really looks like in here, all the wires and, you know, normally y'all only see just a little bit of it. It's a little, up there it's pretty nice, but the rest of it's pretty messy. So, and then, you know, it's my closet. And uh, so I'm going to do some cleaning up in here and uh, totally change the way this looks. So I said I wasn't going to put another coat on there. I lied. Um, which I didn't cover the whole thing, as you can tell. Which, it's, uh, it's still wet. So when it dries, it's going to look different. You know, you can tell quite a few light spots, which actually looks way lighter on the camera than what it actually does. But uh, it should help give that effect that I'm, that I'm looking for which these drawers got pretty dusty for me cutting. As you can kind of see the grain there, kind of see what it, kind of hard to see, but you can see what it looks like once it's dried. And you'll kind of get a, an effect similar to this once it's all done and soaked in. You can see some really dark here and light, which we got to finish, finish painting this going to be my wife's little coffee bar so she can drink some uh, roast coffee 
But the next thing I'm going to work on is uh, is the legs. So I need legs for one side, which would actually be here. I have two legs here, and then the other rest of it's going to be sitting on a couple little couple shelves, white shelves. But um, need to get those. Go ahead and get those cut. Guess I'll go down here. I got these uh, two by four by fours. Um, I'm gonna cut them down to 32 and a quarter. That's gonna be the uh, legs for that end of the uh, table there. <sighs> That's how it's done. So those two by fours I cut down to 32 and a quarter. I'm going to uh, go ahead, sand them down, make sure I don't get any splinters, make sure they're smooth, and uh, take my pencil marks off of them. And then I want to stain them so that they at least match. Yeah. There we go. It's good enough. I'm not a professional, like I said. I'd call this uh, maybe dick built, you know. But anyway, I'm going to uh, get these wiped down with some alcohol and get them stained up. So I need a way to attach those to the top but I don't want to drill holes through the top so what I'm going to do take me a bolt here that actually fits up in here it threads you know screws out in real good what I'm going to do is drill a hole the top of these legs screw that in there then I'm going to cut the top of these bolts off that way I can just thread these legs right onto here so uh, let me see. I don't have my chart here, and I really don't feel like getting on Google right now since I'm yeah, recording with my phone to figure out what size drill is the best. But roughly eyeball center there. Looks good enough, right? Like I said, his dick built. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. Now let me just go get my, uh, I don't even know if my impact is charged, to be honest. But let me go get my impact and a socket. Crank those down in there real quick. So, I got my little 3 8 impact. Back in the day, it cost me a fortune. Luckily, I was smart and paid all this crap off and never went back to buy it again. Well, as you can see, it's kind of dead, but that should be good enough. Should be good enough. And then we cut this off. So I'm going to go do that. So there you go. Bolts cut off. It was right on there. You know, the legs at Lowe's, I looked at actual legs that uses these hardware, uses this hardware. And uh, like 30 freaking dollars. And some of them look like, you know, deck railing or whatever you go over to the deck side and uh 
That's like five bucks for a little decorative crap. I was like, nah, I'm gonna use some two by fours. It's cheaper. So anyway, I'm gonna get these installed on there and then try to get this closet dismantled. So I got this one put on. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes over here. For this, make sure I don't go all the way through. Yep. Uh, sure. It's getting a little heavier over here now. Get these put on right here. I hate when they give you look at the Phillips. I should have swapped them out, but just use these. I'd rather have the twenty bits. It's a little wobbly. I'm not sure. How sturdy that's gonna be. I guess if I get them tight here, about like that. Now they're tight. Anyway, so it's like 10 o'clock at night. Finally finished the uh, slot car closet upgrade. It's been a long day. Yard work planting bushes, redoing a uh, dresser for my wife, and building the desk, I guess, for the garage, or not the garage, I'm tired, for this lock car closet. So, without further ado, here we go. So, rearrange the shelves just a little bit got a lot of my stuff out here power's got to come from outside the closet for now hell i add an outlet do it eventually put my little mini itx computer in here here's those tops let me turn the uh light on just for a minute so you can see how they turned out i think it turned out pretty good but um I really enjoyed putting this together. It was a fun little project. That's to say, I'm pretty tired after today. Feel pretty accomplished for Saturday. Sometimes I I don't get up till noon. I might wake up at nine, but I'll lay in bed forever, talking myself into uh, doing something. But. We got up early, went to Walmart, and did a bunch of stuff today. Got a lot accomplished. And I'm pleased with uh, how everything turned out. So, later, heads.